on section one, points, lines, planes. This should be the first video that you are doing all by yourself. Look at you guys, you're growing up so fast. Here are some friendly tips to remind you of what to do while you watch these videos. One, listen, pause when needed, rewind if needed, rewatch if needed, and make sure that you keep up with the videos. So, uh, we are going to talk today about sort of the three undefined terms of geometry. The first undefined term is uh, a point. And we're going to look at uh, how we define it, how it looks to us, and examples and how we name it. So what is a point? A point is an exact location in space that has no dimension whatsoever. How does it look to the average viewer? It looks like this, a point. And typically there's a label that goes along with it. And then how the heck would we name that thing? We would name that point A. Um, a line, what is a line? A line uh, contains a set of at least two points that form a straight path, and it goes on forever and ever and ever. Um, typically, this looks something like this. Uh, you would want to call that AB. Um, and so now, how can we name this? We can name this thing AB with uh, little arrows above it. Um, or I can sometimes put a little lowercase letter. So if I had an L there, I could say something like line L and not use the points. Um, a plane. What is a plane? A plane is a set of three non-collinear points with infinite length and width. The word non-collinear means that uh, the three points aren't all on the same line. We're going to talk more about that in a sec. That looks like this. So basically, that's a horrible C. Um, basically, any three points that sort of just float around in space, and we can draw sort of a two-dimensional space around it. Um, examples in naming this, we can typically call it plane ABC. Uh, or sometimes there's a big bolded letter that goes along with the plane or a scripted letter in cursive. You can also just call that plane K. All right, so that is point, line, and plane. So let's talk about some other key vocabulary here. Um, Collinear points are points that lie on the same line. So something like that uh, looks like this. Uh, so if I have those three points, A, B, and C, I can say they're collinear because they're all on the same Line. If I said non-collinear, that just means they're not on the same line. Uh, coplanar points are points that lie in the same plane. Uh, Non-coplanar means that they're not in the same plane. It's important, too, that they're not all on the same line, because remember, to have a plane, those points need to be non-collinear. So again, that could look something like this. Um, intersecting lines basically says if I have two or more lines that intersect, uh, those will intersect at a point. Now that's if the lines intersect, so it looks like this. And those intersect at that one point there. Um, intersecting planes are when you have two or more planes that intersect at a line. So I want you to think about maybe the classroom that you're in or the room you're sitting in. Imagine the wall is a plane. The wall is a plane and the floor is a plane. And where do those meet? If you take a look at the wall and the floor, it kind of you can draw a line almost across the room showing where they intersect. So I'm going to draw a little cube here. Uh, so let's say this is the wall and this is the ceiling, and they sort of intersect at this line. Uh, so it kind of goes on and on forever. Uh, the concept of a ray. A ray is something that has one end point, and then it continues on forever and ever in the other direction. So it looks something like this.
So notice it sort of has a stopping point, that's the end point, and then an arrow, that's indicating it's going in that direction forever and ever and ever. Uh, so the way I would label this is I would call this ray AB. The direction of the arrow when you label it will always point to the right. So it doesn't matter that my arrow is going this way. When I write it, I still always draw the arrow going that way. However, the order of the letters is important. The first letter should always be where your end point is. And then the second letter is the direction. So this would be A going in the direction of B. Opposite rays are two rays that have a common endpoint that extend in the opposite directions and it sort of forms a straight line. So it kind of looks like this. Let's take our example ray from above. So we established that this thing here is a ray, ray AB. But if I made an opposite ray, I could do that. And now I have two rays. I have ray AB and ray AC that sort of extend in opposite directions. So AB goes this way, AC goes that way. So here are some example problems on just kind of using that information, using that vocabulary, very vocabulary heavy unit. Um, using the figure below, we're going to name a line containing point K. So one thing I can say is I can say line A, because there's a little subscript A there. So I can use that. I could say something like line JK. Make sure you have that arrow above it. I could say something like line KL. There's all kinds of different things you can use for that. Uh, number two, name a plane containing point L. Here, remember, it needs to be three non-collinear points. So the easiest one, I think, would be to just say plane B. That's our subscripted letter. That means um, the plane. Or you can say something like plane J, L, M. Basically, the only thing you can't use here would be plane J, K, L. And the reason for that is those are my three collinear points. And a plane has to be three non-collinear points. Uh, last, uh, I'm sorry, the next section here is a true or false. So using the figure, determine if the statements are true and false. Uh, do line BD and line AC intersect at point A? Here's line BD, but remember that goes on forever. So this line here and line AC, why yes. They both intersect at point A, that is true. Uh, points A, B, and C are collinear, meaning they all fall on the same line, which you can tell, no, they don't. That is false. And then the last one is points R, B, and C are coplanar. Uh, this R actually, sorry, goes to this point right here. Um, so are R, B, and C all in that plane? Yes, they are. So we can say that those things are coplanar. All right, and the last little section here is a little drawing section uh, where you're going to draw and label a figure uh, for the following situation. Plane R contains lines A, B, and D, E, which intersect at point P. So draw a big plane. We can label it fancy R. That's a terrible fancy R. Um, but we have these two lines, lines A, B, and line DE. That intersect at point P. So here's where they intersect and we'll call that point P. And then it says add point C on plane R so that it is not collinear with AB nor DE. Basically put a point anywhere in there so that it doesn't fall on the line. So I'll put a point here. All right. The next little section here in your notes, anytime you see this title here, you try it, that is something for you to try on your own. As long as you watch the video and understood the notes, you should be able to answer these questions. If you can't answer these questions, you may need to go back and rewatch or reread your notes. Um, I recommend using this color diagram to help you visualize what's going on in these questions here. 
Alrighty, that is it for the video. Thank you for watching. I know it, and now you know it.